That's May 6th. Oh, so that's like a month, that's like a month out from trials. Yeah, f me, fucking terrible, my body is done. Um, <laughs> oh, jeez. So I wanted to start off by talking about uh, journaling. Um, okay. I, I hear you kind of have a unique habit in, in that regard. Explain like what you'll do and the detail you'll go into. So I have, I usually have two. Um, the first one's my swim, I call it a log book. I probably have like maybe 12 full, like the old school composition notebooks of like every practice I've done since around 15 or 16. Um, but yeah, I try to keep it as detailed as I can just to, I rarely look back at them to be honest. Maybe one day they'll be valuable. Maybe I can sell them. I don't know. And when you look back at them, what will you look at on the rare occasion? Okay. So to be honest, it's usually when I'm freaking out on taper and your body starts to feel like trash. I'm breaking down. <laughs> So this is probably the story. I'm breaking down. I'm good though. I can outrun fatigue, body putting, or I can't outrun fatigue, body putting in speed, dying at the end of sets, all good. This happened last year. So every time I get in my own head and then I'll flip back and be like, oh, the same thing happened last year. The same thing happened two years ago, three years ago. It's the same, same story every time the brain likes to forget. And it started with, was it coach Jason? Jason. Yeah, Jason was the first coach I had who just mentioned something about a logbook. Every Wednesday we would hand them to him and he would read them. Felt bad to start, but all strokes died the last lap of finishing that stroke. Flying breaths felt okay at times and hit a point where they felt awful. Did good in the set and stayed positive, which made the set go by a lot faster. After the set, I got cramps everywhere, calf, tricep, and foot. Felt like I had weights on my arms. That was the first time I started like really diving in deep with stroke technique and getting like a solid grasp as a 14, 15, 16 year old on like how my body works in the water and how I can apply different things. Um, that was the first time that I compared me in the water to like a marriage or a relationship. It's a dance. It's not just you muscling. This is not just me having to be with the water at a certain time. It's like, no, no, this is a relationship that you have to work on. Man, my handwriting got so bad. Oh, there's goal times in there. Hold on. Yeah, just don't read the inside page. I want to be great, focus, be better, be confident, know your body, know yourself. I love training. I think it's so much fun. You get to interact with guys on the team. You get to see what you're really capable of doing. I, I've said this before, I'm not, I'm not there to be your friend. I'm there to help you get better and I expect the same in return. I want people in my face. I don't ever want to get complacent. I want people beating me in practice. I want to take it to a new level. I've never, I've never had a race hurt worse than a practice. That's the feeling of getting better. And will you beat yourself up in these? Um, <laughs> yeah, let's find out. In 2017, learning to swim well now, I'll be fast. So this was before... Um, You've already been in an Olympics by then and won gold. Well, I was learning to swim well. I wasn't swimming well, though. This is um, leading up to Olympics. This is like the real side of, of logging. So just, yeah. <laughs> bad, fuck me, so bad. Yep, that's May 6th. Oh, so that's like a month, that's like a month out from trials. Yeah, fuck me, fucking terrible, my body is done. Um, Oh geez, yeah. This is, it's like interesting. I mean, I'm, I know I'm laughing a little bit, but when you're writing this, this isn't as a joke. Like, this is good information. Fuck me, fuck my body, fuck me. Jeez. Yeah, there's a, there's a totally different side of the sport that a lot of people don't see. There's this whole four year process, and you're getting down to the crunch, crunch, crunch time, and it's this, it's this type of of stuff. Of I want it to be perfect, and you just feel like trash. Usually you're trying to motivate someone to be better than what they think they can be. And now you got a guy that's as good as or better than anyone and he never thinks it's good enough. That's a whole nother problem. And you gotta be very careful how you deal with it. Those are real words I was feeling in that moment. I try to be as honest with myself as I can in these books because these aren't for, well until now, these aren't really for anybody else's eyes. How do you handle that when you're in it? You gotta know when to press and when to step back. And there, there's, there's certain times where, you know, you. Just gotta, gotta step back. You gotta be the one that says, whoa, this is plenty good enough. And what are you thinking about mentally in that place if you're well, writing you can't, stuff like you can't, that? You can't give it much, much thought. Like you have to write it down, close the book and get ready for tomorrow. So this is the next day. It felt much better, still a bit torchy. Um, just decent, nothing special, but good. Good still and better. Uh, body felt good, feeling good, so excited to swim. So you see just a matter of two weeks how much can change. So that's the log book. Yeah, and I, so kind of switch things up. I haven't really been journaling too much this year. 
my counselor that I work with, I was kind of filling her in on, yeah, this is usually journal, and she was kind of asking how I write. It's pretty harsh, like it's either like, good, here's what was good, here's what was bad. Um, so I kind of dropped it for a little bit just so I can, I think, figure out a better way to write instead of everything being good or bad. I think more so of just like a, here's what happened throughout the day. So I haven't, I haven't journaled in really since after Tokyo. I, I forgot who I was talking to, but somebody close to you and they're like uh, on the, with the personal journals when you would fill one up, I think they said throw you would throw it away yeah, or, or, or some, yeah. somebody said you burned it once or? Maybe I've burned one. Um, no, I usually just throw them out. I don't think I would want to look back on those. I don't know, everyone's different. Yeah. But yeah, but I filled one up recently. I think it was right after Tokyo, right before, around the time when I stopped and I didn't even feel bad for throwing it out. That's why I was like, okay, maybe this isn't like as crucial as I thought. And then I think I just need to give myself a little time to step away from it, learn how to actually journal correctly.